From The Matrix to Inspector Gadget, only the Lincoln Continental hasn't made an appearance. And in custom workshops, they love huge, axe-chopped looking cars. That's why even the old-timer from 1966 feels great under the hood with its original V8 engine producing 340 horsepower. The original 15-inch rims are complemented by tires for impressive burnouts, and the updated suspension adds a special touch of elegance to the car. By the way, at the time of its release, the Lincoln Continental was considered a compact car, measuring 5.4 by 2 meters. It was shorter than its predecessor. If custom cars have become tiresome, why not shift your attention to custom yachts? Take this beauty, measuring 33.5 meters, capable of accommodating up to 10 guests plus 5 crew members. It impresses not only with its design but also with a maximum speed of 59 km per hour, ensuring there's never a dull moment on board. There are multiple areas for both active and leisurely recreation. If the weather turns, you can gather on the sofas or around the table to watch a movie or play a few rounds of poker. As for the price, in 2020, the yacht was listed for sale at around $2.2 million. Greta Thunberg, in particular, and environmental activists, in general, have criticized many celebrities for flying on private jets, and they continue to do so. Here's a favorite bird of the rapper Moneyback called the Gulfstream 3. It reaches speeds of up to 928 km per hour, and there's no shame in filming Instagram videos inside. It's equipped with adjustable everything, monitors, and a minibar, just as you'd expect. The aircraft can accommodate 19 passengers and 2 to 3 crew members. With a range of 5,568 kilometers, it's suitable even for extensive tours. The base version of the Gulfstream 3 costs $16 million. Without even hitting the road, this car caught the attention of a designer from Brazil. Robert Ramos offered a fresh perspective on the Ford Maverick and created this 3D concept muscle car. It's called, Morpheus, and in one review, the concept was described as ominous, while the designer himself hinted at internet references. Sleuths immediately recalled the Matrix. The project is shrouded in an atmosphere of mystery and ambiguity. At the age of 59, Scott Bloomquist has accomplished a lot. Known as, Boss, he won't settle for just any racing in NASCAR on dirt tracks. He's involved in modifying and assembling chassis, and his schedule is packed, requiring appropriate transportation. That's why the custom team at Turn Key Industries came up with Bloomquist's dream motorhome. From the outside, it looks like Batman's cave grew wheels, with plenty of interior lighting and everything necessary for relaxation and work. For example, they managed to fit four racing tires, but it resulted in a weight issue. The motorhome didn't comply with legislative regulations, and there were problems with the interior. So, Bloomquist mentioned in interviews the possibility of a buyback and refund. Medieval artists depicted demons as horned and clawed creatures, but they never even dreamed of demons like this. This two-wheeled beauty from a workshop in the USA not only roars but also has taillights that seem to look into your soul. This custom creation is based on the Harley-Davidson V-Rod and stands out with its rear monster tire, Viber 8 exhaust, black ceramic coating, leather and suede seat, and LED headlights. Such demons find buyers all over the world, especially since the craftsmen are willing to assist with delivery. And if your budget is modest for now, you can purchase individual parts for tuning. Once upon a time, a father and son team embarked on a journey in a 1928 Ford Model A. They traveled 35,400 kilometers from their home in Chile to the Ford headquarters. The car didn't let them down and now stands in a museum. And that's just one story about the Model A. This legend of the automotive world can still be found on the roads today, like this version with a vintage-inspired entrance. It features a Honda S2000 engine, providing the driver with a minimum of 240 to 250 horsepower. It combines the charm of old-school design with the agility and anti-wing philosophy of Formula One. It's no wonder that such cars have even made their way into the Need for Speed video game series.
customized Rolls-Royce cars are less common. Firstly, they are very expensive, and secondly, manufacturers are willing to tailor the car to the customer's desires, making them even more intriguing exceptions. How about a six-wheeled Rolls-Royce Phantom? The key exterior enhancements include 24-inch wheels, while the interior features snake and crocodile leather accents. It retains the original V12 engine producing 453 horsepower, with a touch of updated design. Judging by the license plates, this car was made for a client from Luxembourg. Perhaps they're planning to shoot another high-octane racing action film there. In any case, it's a story of luxury. The Phantom is priced around $460,000. Does anyone remember the cult Japanese project Initial D? It's a story about illegal street racing that takes place mainly in the Gumma prefecture. Interestingly, it's in the same place where they assemble these custom trikes. They even offer a variant with the world's first three-seater configuration. With an engine producing over 100 horsepower, it's no problem. The trike features lightweight carbon fiber, an aluminum frame, custom 20-inch wheels, and passenger seats with armrests. Each bike is unique, combining modern technology with traditional handcrafting. This is why the production volume is modest, with no more than 100 units per year. The developers promise to launch this technology into service by 2025. They are creating new dimensions of transportation and a new level of urban mobility. The idea is to have regular flights covering distances of 30 to 80 kilometers, with a pricing structure similar to ground transportation. These flying vehicles will be powered by electricity, and intermediate charging will take about 10 to 12 minutes. They will have a capacity of one pilot plus four passengers and luggage. The plan is to start operating in busy cities like New York and Los Angeles, initially establishing routes from airports to city centers. Passengers will be able to book tickets directly from their smartphones, leaving only the task of reaching the takeoff and landing area. This truck, designed for drivers by drivers, not only looks cool on screens but also reduces the workload by 30% during driving. It is easier to keep in the lane because the system compensates for road irregularities and other challenges. During slow maneuvers like parking, the steering wheel automatically returns to the neutral position. Moreover, the truck monitors the road situation 2,000 times per second. When parked, the driver is greeted with a practically mini row, standing at 2.2 meters in height, complete with a 178 centimeters bed and optional amenities like a refrigerator, microwave, and other appliances. The engine options range from 325 to 505 horsepower. In the limited black edition version, you not only get a plethora of black paint and premium interior finishes but also an exclusive set that includes a wristwatch. The Ford F450 seems tailor-made for custom projects. You can already find versions in showrooms with 500 horsepower engines and dimensions of 6.8 x 2.4 x 2.1 meters. Then, you can add forged 30-inch wheels and transform the rear bed into a ramp for entertainment and increased ground clearance. In short, there's plenty of space for creativity. However, if your garage size doesn't allow for such a giant, you can opt for the slightly more compact F350 with 430 horsepower. Alternatively, you can follow eco-trends and go for the unexpected newcomer, the electric F150 Lightning. Dodge, a company known to automotive history enthusiasts, had its share of collaborations and legal disputes with Henry Ford. Today, it is part of Fiat Chrysler, but many vintage Dodge vehicles are still on the road. This 1932 Dodge, which has stood the test of time, is a testament to its creator's willingness to share details. The owner discovered it in the basement of a house slated for demolition after watching Mad Max. The result was a radical hot rod with a 430 horsepower engine, 16-inch wheels in the front, 18-inch wheels in the back, new shocks, a winch, and other upgrades. These enhancements allow it to tear through both asphalt and off-road terrain, delighting passers-by along the way. 